call is being translated. Abuela, listen to what my phone can do. Abuela, escucha lo que mi teléfono puede hacer. Wow, ahora dime sobre tu novia nueva. Wow, now tell me about this new girlfriend. Huh? Tú sabes lo que dije. You know what I said. Language is no longer a barrier, thanks to Live Translate with Galaxy AI on Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Learn more at Samsung.com. Samsung account login required. Calls must be made using the native Samsung dialer. With our first stretch of warm weather this weekend, it feels like we're finally coming out of Portland's gloomy season. It's the perfect time of year to jump from dance club to music bar for a late night out in the city. And I've spent a lot of time tracking down some of the best places to dance in town. So today on CityCast Portland, we're revisiting a conversation I had with our host, Claudia Meza, with tips on how to make the most out of a night out dancing. Whether you're moshing to live punk, grooving to ABBA, or learning how to two-step, we've got you covered. It's Monday, May 13th. I'm producer Julia Fioni, and this is what Portland's talking about. I've never seen you dancing, Julia, but I guess you don't have to be a good dancer to know where to go. (laughs) You don't. No, that was just a disclaimer for our listeners, grain of salt. Anyhow, (laughs) you've lived in a few places before coming to Portland. What makes our dancing different? Because I know you're a fan. Yeah, I am a huge fan of the Portland dancing scene. And the number one thing is that people just really don't take themselves too seriously It's a real come-as-you-are, dress-as-you'd-like environment, which makes it really inclusive. You'll see all different kinds of people out there, different age ranges. Um, Doesn't really matter. There's no, like, standard for what to expect. And one of the nicest parts of that is it's one of the only cities I felt safe going out dancing alone, Hmm. where I could be on the dance floor dancing by myself, and it's not weird. You see other people there alone dancing, It's comfortable. You'll make friends. It's just a really good time. So you're saying that like someone who perhaps only knows the Roger Rabbit and or the Running (laughs) Man is able to head out and uh, and hang out with the youngins. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a great starting point. (laughs) Just Just walk through the door doing one of those and you'll fit right in. Perfect. Perfect. (laughs) Walk me through your ideal night out dancing in Portland. Okay. So if you're going out dancing, you got to go to the Buckman neighborhood on the central east side. There are a lot of different venues and places to go out dancing that are just right there. But one of my favorite places to start out at is the Lollipop Shop, which used to be Dig a Pony. Mm-hmm. I would get there around 9 p.m. A lot of the shows start around then, and most of the time they're live bands. But there are also a lot of free events where they'll just have a DJ playing disco or pop music, and you can just show up and walk in and choose to stay as long as you want because you didn't pay a cover. But one of the times I went there was to go see a band called Warm Doucher. They're a, a London-based post-punk band. Um, And throughout the show, people were moshing and hanging out and whatever. And then as soon as the show stopped, completely switched over to disco music. And those same people that were moshing were also dancing to the disco music. It's just a really great time. Um, But I'd start there. But pro tip, bring earplugs. It's a small space, so it can get pretty loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spend a couple of hours there, then what? Yeah, so I usually stick around at Lollipop Shop as late as 12, 30, 1 o'clock, and then I make my way just a few blocks down the street towards the Morrison Bridge to the Coffin Club, mm-hmm. which a lot of people know the Coffin Club. It's a horror-themed goth club, usually playing industrial, synth pop, dark wave type music, and they're open pretty late. And if you go late enough, there is typically not a cover. The bouncer at the front, who's very nice, will just look at you and say, yeah, you're here late. Just come on in. And <laughs> uh, yeah, just a great environment. Uh, can, wait, can we just tell like the door person? Can we tell them that we know you? Could we be like, hey, oh, no. Julia, Julia <laughs> sent me. She may or may not be a good dancer. You might have seen her here. I mean, here's the thing. You could say that. They'll have no idea who you're talking about, but you could try. <laughs> Listener, name drop Julia at the Coffin Club. Oh, my God. Please don't. <laughs> go, go on. So at midnight. So, yeah. So around midnight, depending on how late of a night you want to have, you can head there. 
Uh, it's a huge space if you've never been. There's like literal coffins hanging off the walls. There's one that you can lay in in the lounge. There's a downstairs space. Sometimes they have live DJs and bands of similar genres playing. A lot of people dress up in goth clothes. It's also fun to just go there and people watch and hang outside and eat from the vegan food cart in the back. But if you don't want to hang out there for too long, maybe your feet are getting kind of tired, you'd rather go sit somewhere and grab some food before you head back home. You can go back down the same way you came on Grand and stop at my father's place, which closes at 2.30 in the morning. And it's typically pretty packed on the weekends just people sitting around eating diner food, playing pool in the side room. It's just a nice place to end off the night where you mm-hmm. kind of just like ground yourself and say, okay, I might be hungover tomorrow, but not as hungover as I would have been if I didn't eat these pancakes before <laughs> I went home. <laughs> but it's all right there. And it's even if it's raining, not too hard to jump from place to place. And you can even take the bus home if you need. The bus line runs in and around that area. So it's very public transportation friendly too. Yeah. You know, Julia, you're still in your early 20s, and it really warms my heart to hear that my father's place is still that location for, yeah. all right, I don't want to quite go home, and I need to eat some food right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some things just don't change. Well, what is your pick for, like, best all around, if, if you could only choose one place to hang out that night? Yeah. If I'm feeling just, like, hang in one area, I'll go to the Good Foot. It's in southeast, but still kind of in central east side. What's nice about that space is that you don't have to feel like you're stuck dancing the whole night. The dancing area is in the basement, and then upstairs is a huge space where you can play pinball and pool, and there's booths just to kind of hang out and chat with your friends. And in the basement where they host the events, there's a wide variety of the different types of things you'll get to see. A lot of the times, local live bands. On Fridays, they have a soul stew night, which is funk, soul, disco music, playing on finals. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been to that night. It's pretty fun. And that's definitely just all age inclusive. Like you'll see anybody and everybody because it's freaking soul. Yeah. And it's one of those things that I'll take a lot of people to if they're visiting from out of town because it's so special. It feels like you've time traveled. Mm -hmm. Um, And I don't know. I really like being on that dance floor, too. It's surrounded by these mirrors that make the space seem bigger than it is. But Mm -hmm. also at the same time, it it gives like this like trippy feeling of like, where am I? It's so late at night. I'm in a basement. (laughs) makes it kind of fun. But yeah. um, what's also cool about Good Foot is that they have stand-up comedy nights on Mondays. Mm. And next door is Baby Doll Pizza. So if you want to go there on a Monday night, watch some comedy, grab some pizza, or you're there to dance late and want to get some food, there's lots to do. And it's also pretty public transportation friendly as well. It's in within walking distance to 28th and Burnside and lots of restaurants there if you wanted to go there before. So you have options. Cool. So two questions uh, about Goodfoot. One, Mm -hmm. is it true that you've run into the mirror wall dancing? (laughs) Who told you that? (laughs) Two, (laughs) is it? Two, did you take your parents to Goodfoot the last time they were here visiting? I haven't yet. I know that they would enjoy it. I said that I could and I haven't yet. Mm. I will say, though, I've thought about it recently and I think that I would want to take them to the coffin club just so that they can experience a culture the, shock you're gonna take your parents <laughs> yeah. to the goth club because I know for sure they've never seen anything like it and it would just I would get the biggest kick out of it so yeah do you think they'll dance oh you know I could probably convince them after a drink or two but we'll see <laughs> I'm gonna do it and I'll let you guys know All right, well, let's take a quick break here. And when we come back, where to go for partner dancing, even if you don't have a partner. Hola. Hello, this call is being translated. Abuela, listen to what my phone can do. Abuela, escucha lo que mi teléfono puede hacer. Wow, ahora dime sobre tu novia nueva. Wow, now tell me about this new girlfriend. Huh? Tú sabes lo que dije. You know what I said. Language is no longer a barrier, thanks to Live Translate with Galaxy AI on Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Learn more at Samsung.com. Samsung account login required. Calls must be made using the native Samsung dialer. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds, and I'm here with Keith, co-star of my upcoming film, If, only in theaters May 17th. Do you want to tell people the big news... 
All right, I'll do. It. Sign up now and you'll get unlimited for $15 a month in six months of Paramount Plus Essential Plan on us. Mintmobile.com slash switch. Upfront payment of $45 equivalent to $15 per month. Unlimited over 40 gigabytes per month. Face lower speeds. Videos at 480p. Active Mint customers by 531.24 get six months of Paramount Plus Essential Plan. Auto renews after six months. Offer ends May 31st, 2024. Separate Paramount Plus registration required. Terms and conditions apply if rated PG. Well, what about if you're interested in more structured partner dancing like salsa or the lambada? Where would specifically you specifically the lambada? <laughs> yeah, specifically the lambada. Where would you go? Like do you do you do that by the way? Yeah. Not lambada, but I have bachata danced and I do know of a place that does bachata and salsa dancing. Tell me about it. It's something I didn't do before moving here, but I found myself feeling kind of stuck in a rut and I looked it up online and and thought to myself, what kind of dancing nights are there during the week? And on Wednesdays at Aztec Willie's, which is in the Kearns district, they have a bachata night where at 930 they'll teach you lessons for free for a half hour. And then they open up the dance floor and within an hour it's completely packed. Um, And it's super easy just to get into it. And you dance with all different kinds of people and people are super friendly and as soon as you know, it's midnight and it's a Wednesday night and you're like, how am I still here? But <laughs> if you don't feel like going on a Wednesday, on Saturdays they do salsa dancing. I haven't gone yet because I think salsa is a little bit more complicated and quick um, and it intimidates me. But I would go and check it out. They also have free lessons at 930 as well. When you went, did you go alone or did you bring a friend? I went alone and I made friends. It's easy to make friends during the lessons too because they'll just partner you up. You're so brave. (laughs) was a little brave. I am I am that way. So if you do need to bring a friend, uh, no shame in that. But it is easy to make friends. And there are some people I met while I was there that I still keep in touch with. Mm-hmm. And I only know them as my bachata dancing friends, which is fun and cool. Yeah. We've had a few people write to us asking about activities for meeting mm-hmm. people. And I, I'm thinking this is a perfect one. Yeah. Yeah. And there's other spots that you can go and take bachata lessons, but it's free and it's right there. And it feels less intimidating because during the day it's a Mexican restaurant. So you're yeah. not like walking into a dance room at like an official dance spot. It's yeah, just like yeah. somewhere to go. Um, but alternatively, if that's maybe not your style, another spot you can check out for partner dancing is the Landmark Saloon. I've gone there before for their Whiskey Wednesday night, which they do $5 shots of whiskey the first of the Ooh. month. And they have live country, country rock bands playing in this like tiny little house shaped bar with this small little dance floor. But what's fun about it is they have all different types of people doing country western two-step dancing. Mm -hmm. Same kind of environment where if you're just hanging out there, someone will come up to you and be like, hey, do you want to dance? And then you're two-step dancing on the dance floor, which is not (laughs) something I knew how to do before I went that night. But my favorite thing about Whiskey Wednesday specifically, and this all just feels so Portland to me. I've never experienced this in another city before, but you'll see people there dressed in golf clothes at Mm. the Country Western Bar because they go there before they leave to go to a tallow disco night at the Coffin Club, which is also (laughs) the first Wednesday of the month where they're playing Italian dance pop music from the 80s Uh and uh, another free event. So you'll see the same people there and you'll be like, hey, and I actually have a friend that starts their night at the Country Western Club. Make sure that they have their docks in the car and their eyeliner so that they can switch (laughs) their cowboy boots for their docks, put eyeliner on and go into the coffin club without feeling like they stick out, which is amazing. (laughs) Dude, cowboy goth needs to be a thing and Portland should be the epicenter for it. And this would be the perfect backstory. It's happening. Well, you see, on Wednesdays, there's two dance (laughs) nights. It's a free night. (laughs) It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Oh, um, man. Yeah. You're making this sound like a, a viable option. <laughs> <laughs> For Wednesdays at 2 o'clock in yeah. the morning. <laughs> well, I'm just curious. Like, do you have, like, a favorite song to dance to or, like, a style? Oh, I would say the one I feel like I can always just jump into right away is the goth style dancing at the Coffin Club because really, it's really <laughs> just like a bunch of swaying back and forth. There's a little bit of a vogue to it. No one really bothers you or looks at you strange. You can do whatever you want. And the music is pretty predictable, so you're uh-huh. never going to be caught off guard. And it's one of those styles of dance where you can just get sucked in and hours have passed and your feet are starting to get sore and you're like, where the hell am I? And the fog machine is just like (laughs) 
going and going. So that's for sure my favorite of of all the ones I've mentioned so far. I was told that one of the best like goth dance moves is to pretend like you're picking an apple and inspecting it. <laughs> like yeah. you know what I, mean? I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> yep, it's just and then just move your head side to side while you're doing it, and you got it. <laughs> Inspect that apple thoroughly. <laughs> Possibly shine it. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> if you're feeling risky, take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Any honorable mentions? Yeah, well, this is just like one of the classics, Holocene. Of course. Uh, I see it as like an indie electronic music dance spot. It's if That's how it is in my head. I know they do more than just that. But when I mm-hmm. think about wanting to go and listen to like alternative indie music, that's where I want to go. One of their most popular nights is the Dance Yourself Clean night that happens every few weeks and is specifically for indie electronic music. But one of my favorite stories from Holocene was I was there for Dance Yourself Clean a few months ago, and I ran into a group of what must have been like 15 gals all dressed as very old women just for fun. There was no <laughs> <Just> theme. <laughs> it wasn't Halloween. And they were just getting down on the dance floor. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, my and God. And that, on its own, gives you a sense of what Holocene is like. It's anything goes. You're just there to have a good time. Everyone's always just, like, in such a positive mood and happy to meet you. It, mm. It's great. It's it's really one of those spots that's consistently fun. That's awesome. I'm glad that Holocene is still bringing in those awesome dance nights because that's where the bulk of the dance nights were, you know, a a few decades ago. Mm -hmm. These are all really great. You're actually inspiring me. Um, (laughs) Is there, if if people wanted to learn more about this, Julia, and uh, they didn't want to, you know, hound you, uh, (laughs) is there like a .gov site where one could find even more dance nights, possibly a .org? On the city website, it's it's official. (laughs) No, so I typically go on an app called Near Here. It's usually used for live bands, but they have live music events generally. And it's a great place to go and just see what the venues are. And then from there, you can go ahead and search on the website, sign up for their newsletters, and put the pieces together. It's kind of what I've done over the past couple of years that I've been here. And then outside of that, when you're there making friends, you'll get invited out to other places and you'll discover new spots and it kind of just goes from there and you'll start to recognize uh, familiar faces becomes like a little community. That's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. near here.app mm-hmm. um, and here spelled like you're listening, H-E-A-R, which is, you know, I get it. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> it's clever. Well, Julia, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, taking the time and and I know we've been talking about this. Like, Julia, you got to tell me all the dance spots. You got to, because you're always, you're always out there. Dan- if you want to know, if you're just imagining what does Julia do when she's not producing this podcast, she's just out there dancing. Just grooving on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Claudia. Well, that's all for today here on CityCast Portland. Thanks so much for listening. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more from around the city. Until then, see you at Slim's. <laughs>